So I'm configuring the Wii mode right now. It's going to discover the Wii mode. Now it says that Wii, Wii mode is discovered. Now basically what you've done over here is this is a featureless cube and the way you tilt the cube the computer basically registers that. So now I tilt it to the right so it registers that it's been tilted to the right and now it's launched Tetris. And now we can basically control the Tetris depending upon the tilt we get to the cube. So when I move it forward the option goes up. When I move it back, it goes downwards. So basically, uh, we haven't configured the enter key, so I'm just manually <laughs> pressing enter over here. And it's the same thing throughout. So now we'll try playing the game. So the game, just like you tilt the box, the control over the, the block over there is going to move. And when you tilt it up, it'll rotate. So yeah, that's the basic console. Well, right now this is what we've done. Um, I mean, this has a lot of applications in terms of, say, we could give it a small little kids who could actually use this cube and, you know, maybe we could make the cube do certain things depending upon the way it's been tilted. And the other application is basically you can give it to people that actually have to give presentations. So instead of having a remote in their hand, they could actually have a cube and, you know, while walking and talking, they could just play around with the cube and the slides would move ahead with that. Yeah, so... So the question is, how easy is Tetris to play with a featureless cube? Oh, well, it's not that easy right now, but we'll be working on it, and it'll become a lot more easier later on. But it is pretty easy, and it's an innovative and novel way to actually play it. Right? So it's, it's different, and it's a lot of fun, I guess.